So as you know, my name is Kainton and today I'm going to be talking about the concept of reverse proxy. Now, you know what a proxy is. A proxy is simply a computer that sits on the edge of your network. So when traffic is coming in from the internet, this computer is going to filter the traffic and kind of filter out unnecessary ones, maybe malicious ones, maybe from sites that are unwanted. And then the traffic that are allowed comes into your network. So maybe you've been using a, a company laptop, an official laptop, and you're trying to access a website, and this website is not available because it has been blocked by your company. This settings is done in the proxy. So the proxy is simply a computer that accepts the traffic from different sources, Yahoo, Gmail, Facebook, uh, different sources on the internet, and it's going to accept this network and then filter out unwanted uh, traffic that may harm your network. So think of it this way, a proxy is simply many sources of information to one single computer. So instead of this traffic going right into your network, this computer on the edge of the network is going to stop it right there and then filter it. So you can say many sources of information to one computer. That is very clear, that is how a proxy works. Now, what is a reverse proxy? Now, if you're a software engineer or a developer, you've had You've heard of this word reverse proxy. Now, reverse proxy is something that does the other way around. So, if you understand how a proxy works from many sources of information on the internet to one single computer. Now, we are talking about a reverse proxy. We have one single computer or one source of information is going to be split or distributed into several sources, right? Let's now talk about the use case of a reverse proxy. Reverse proxy kind of works uh, used to achieve something called load balancing. So let me illustrate, let me clean up my whiteboard and then I'm going to illustrate how it works for you. All right, so there's something we know. So there is this computer here, okay? And the traffic is coming from different directions, okay? And you have your network right here, okay? Okay, so all this traffic coming in, okay? This proxy here, this proxy, is going to filter this traffic out and only accept the traffics that are wanted. So the configuration is done in this proxy to filter traffic coming from several sources. Now when it comes to reverse proxy, it's going to do the other way around. Traffic is coming from only one source, right? So traffic is coming from only one source of information or one source of traffic and well, it's going to be split into different computers here, maybe three. All right, so one, one source of information to different computers. All right, so the use case is something called load balancing. So if you have a traffic coming from, originating from a place, maybe a user is uh, sending several requests, this may happen when you are doing automated uh, operations, or maybe testing or something. So several requests is coming so fast from a computer or from a node or from an IP address and it's going to be split or divided into three different servers of four or two, depending on the requirement. So a reverse proxy takes one single source of information and splits it into different computers or takes information coming from one computer and splits it into several computers, okay? While proxy, on the other hand, takes information from several computers and aggregate them into one point, right? So let's try to repeat it several times. A proxy uh, architecture takes information from different sources and aggregate it into one point, while a reverse proxy takes information coming from one point and split it into several as uh, several targets of several computers. So hopefully I've explained clearly in a layman's language how uh, proxy and reverse proxy works. Subscribe to my channel, that's great. And after now I'm going to be going to my system to actually demonstrate this, uh, how this works. Now let's talk about just one second, a reverse proxy tool that is free that you can actually use to achieve load balancing uh, is called Nginx. So this, if you look in the description box of this video, you see a demo I've done by how you can uh, grab the traffic and split it into uh, different sections. So these a series of tutorials I'm making about uh, microservices, load balancing, um, um, uh, and a whole lot of things, service discovery and so on. 
So I recommend you stick with me, subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, let me know if you have any challenges understanding the concepts. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.